Where's that engine number 599? She should have been back here by now. I don't know. The last we heard from her was that she wanted a little alone time. We don't know her whereabouts now, though I heard she hitched a ride on a train bound to Chicago, according to our cruise radio. What? She wasn't assigned there. She needs to be back this instant, since there's a way bill I have which has her number on it. Oh. Well, there has to be a way to get her back. Don't bet on it, Sean. Even if you try, she's probably gonna keep escaping elsewhere. 3062, 4783, and 400? You think you three could find 599? You can count on us. Alright, good. Because if that foolish engine doesn't make it back here in a week, it will be deemed a penalty and she'll be qualified for retirement. I'll call all the yards if they have seen her whereabouts. Come on, Don and Misty. We got to find May. Right. Okay, I admit, I shouldn't have acted like this to May. Neither have I. What a fool I was. This was your fault, morons! Shut up, Eddie. You weren't even involved in this, so this is none of your business. Hey! I was spelling out the facts, you disgraced to seaboard! Now, now, let's all forget about it. Hopefully, this will get resolved soon. <sighs> yeah. Just as long as Eddie can keep his mouth shut. Ugh, I feel like I want to make up with May now. Excuse me, have you seen this CSX AC4400 CW numbered 599? We're in a desperate search for her. She was here yesterday, though she wanted to be left alone. But then she suddenly left without my notice. I don't know where she went, though your best bet is to ask other engines. Oh man, guess Nicholas was right. Finding May is harder than I thought. Now where could she have gone? I hope she's okay. Who are y'all talking about? Oh hi Hannah and Rachel. Thank goodness you're here. We're talking about May. She ran away and we don't know where she went. I saw where she's headed. Really? I think I spotted her on BNSF Manifest HBRCNTW on Minneapolis yesterday. And words say that she's headed to the Maria's Pass. Wait, how? No clue. She was just there. Trailing dead last behind a couple of pumpkins. This isn't good. Do you know if today's HBLC NTW hasn't left yet? Well, you're in luck because it still hasn't. Oh, thank goodness. Do you know when it should be ready? We heard it should be in 30 minutes. All right, because we really need to rescue May. This is very urgent. Oh, so have you found where May is? Yep, she's in Minneapolis apparently. Well, your train to there is already ready. Really? That quick? Yep. But I'm kind of concerned about her given her attitude and how she didn't seem to have waybills here. Yeah, but the thing is, there's words that she might be heading to the Maria's Pass. Oh dear. Well, you best hurry before she gets even further away. Right. So anyways, me, Dawn, and Misty have to take BNSF Manifest, HBLC NTW to Northtown soon. And Hannah and I have to take the BNSF Auto Rack V BLUKCK to Kansas City as well. Kansas City? Wow, that's nice. Yeah, it is. We'll be cool if we could stop by there again, but we have to get going now. Bye, Hannah and Rachel. All right, bye, Sean, Don, and Misty. Good luck finding May. Thanks, Thanks Rachel. Rachel. I hope you guys find May and bring her back to CSX. I'm counting on y'all. Who 
together you are, Sean. Are you guys involved in finding May? Yes, Amy, but we have to get going now. Can I come? I want to help. Sorry, Amy, but we're in a rush. May could be escaping out to the Maria's Pass at any time, and we don't have time to reconfigure our powers. Go focus on the job she was assigned to. take NS-295 to Jacksonville. Hopefully I'll find that sonic bonnet there. Here I am at Maria's Pass. Time to escape from hell and enjoy nature. Wait a minute. I didn't look there. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're sleeping again. Dude, I'm really tired. We climbed the mountains all day. I don't care. That mayo jar is here. No, chef. I don't want mayonnaise on my sandwich. Oh, you son of a biscuit. What I mean is that CSX AC4400 CW number 599 is here. Where? And do I look like food to you? Oh my fr- But what is she even doing here? She's not compatible with our PTC. Did she sneak here? Did she hitchhike here? Or is she careless enough to even make it here? I don't know. She could be least here for all I know. Well, I guess we have another victim to toy with. And to show that I am better than that stupid yellow bird. What stupid yellow bird? I'm talking about Miguel, you thickhead. I'm still not over his giant yellow winged radiators. This isn't Sesame Street, Jack. Do I look like Elmo to you? Don't ever mention that franchise in front of me ever again, okay? Fine. But you do look about as red as Elmo anyways when you're mad. What did I say again? Don't even compare me to that clown or else I'll dump you to the middle for Flathead River. Clown? What clown? Is this the Ringling Brothers Circus? No, you stupid- Ah. Uh. And just what do you think you're doing here, Mayo? You two? Just my freaking luck. Can I not have some peace and quiet? I don't know, can you? Leave me alone. I've had enough problems this week. Then what do you think you're doing here? To escape from that filthy pile of trash, number 326, and get some peace. Oh, you mean Lily? <laughs> How could you even fall out with her like that? I thought you and her made great helping hands. Because she suddenly got mad at me over the stupidest reasons just because of some feud I had with Nicholas. Sounds like a problem. Should we just let her go? What? Why? Uh... Oh, fine. You win, Aiden. You can stay here, but you must be gone by tonight. If you don't leave, we'll take action, you hear me? Say, you look almost out of fuel. Wanna come to the fueling station over there? Sure. I guess. Damn it, Aiden. But whatever. At least you'll have something to leave with. Just so she doesn't act like some yappy chihuahua. Oh, God. Her again? And what is she even doing here? Oh, well. This should give me the perfect plan. <laughs> Hey, 
anything on the radio? Nope. I searched through all road channels and yard channels, and they have nothing on 599. I'll keep searching, though. Oh, I hope she didn't do the worst. Same. I just got her whereabouts. She's in Whitefish, Montana. Really? Radio back to Waycross. We'll go after her. Excuse me, sir. What? Would you mind if you assign us on a train to Whitefish? What for? A search and rescue effort. A CSX unit number 599 went missing, and she's there apparently. Well, alright then. It's about to leave in 45 minutes. Perfect! <laughs> This place is getting scenic. How beautiful. The XBN has had a lot of great scenery. I know, right? But it'll get even more scenic once we hit the Rockies.
You think we'll need some helpers at this point? I don't think so. The climb shouldn't be as tough as what the eastbounds have to go through. We really gotta hurry. It's getting dark and we lost a lot of time to a stupid Amtrak train. Here we are at Whitefish. Now I'm going to find and talk to May myself. No, Sean. We're going to help too. We don't even know what could be in her mind. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't want her to suddenly blow her fuse and ram me into the siding. May, 
What happened to you? Are you alright? Sean? Don? Misty? What are you three doing here? We're here to take you back home. <sighs> Whatever. Some BNSF locomotives by the names of Jack and Aiden offered me a nice place to stay here. Away from that filthy lily. But they warned me to be gone by tonight, or else they will take action. Jack and Aiden? Oh man, I remember when they tried to kidnap me. You really gotta come back home. CSX threatened to retire you if you don't get back by next week. But I still want to stay away from Lily. You can't. No matter what problems you're facing, this is serious. You really need to get over her. She was being a brat to me. I am not going to forgive her. She started a fight with me. I've had enough of her. I don't ever want to be near her again. But May. Sean, you're not helping at all. Besides, remember how we got kidnapped just because you brought me to Springfield Industrial? Excuse me, but you wanted to rest there in the first place when I didn't even feel safe there. So what are you talking about? Plus, we had to deliver a train there anyway since it was our assignment. Well, there's many things in the past that still haunts me, so I'm better off here. Then tell us about it. You don't get it, do you? Last year, I nearly collided with the careless switcher at Jacksonville, and he picked a fight with me for no reason. Then, as a result, I had to get my traction motors replaced while Joshua kept reprimanding me. Eventually, more engines reminded me of it, and now I have that filthy pile of junk who acts lazy by sleeping all the time. But that's not all. More lazy fatties that I dealt with later made it worse. So screw it. I'm not going back there. <laughs> What's gone to that bayo jar now? I don't know. Lettuce and tomatoes? Does she not care about her own reputation? Her time is ticking. I mean, considering that Mayo is supposed to go on food anyways, you told me. I swear, if I had hands, I'd strangle some sense into you. Wait a second. Them now? Who? Now that 36, 2, 47, 83, and 400 are here. Who? Oh, you peanut brain. Sean Dunn, and I don't know who 400's name is. Uh, Mistakey? That's 400's name. No, you dimwit. <sighs> well, fine, since you came with that nickname, I guess we'll call her that. Then should we call 47, 83... Well, look who's talking. But whatever. I say we make sure we make a getaway for those clowns catch us. Why? We don't want to go through that trouble again. Besides, don't you remember what happened back at Waycross? Now come on. We need to get out of here and fast. Fast? You mean like Sonic fast? We can't go supersonic speed, you idiot. Do I look like a blue hedgehog to you? No, but if you're blue, wouldn't you be Conrail, CSX, or Amtrak? Or would you be running around saying, I'm blue, da body? Shut up! I had enough of you, now let's just get the heck out of here. But what if we run into Miguel and Leo? Oh, be quiet and let's go. We won't run into them anyways if we're all the way up here. And they're down somewhere that I don't know, but I don't even want to know either. We're being serious, mate. You have to come back home now. We're sorry for what you went through, but please, this is serious. I said like a hundred times, no. CSX visitors? I wasn't told we had CSX powers here today. What are you doing up here in the north? We're trying to convince our friend here to come home with us. I said no. End of story. I see there's problems. But I was told by the Yardmaster that you guys really need to get going. Plus, it's dangerous here. Apparently a BNSF engine with your number knows that you're here and she's after you. Again, I'm not going nowhere near that grimy AC44 number 326 named Lily. Or should I say filthy. So leave me alone. Listen, May. No matter what problems you're facing with Lily, you really got to let it go. I'm sure you'll make up with her sometime. Just relax. Yeah, he's right. And besides, remember when you rescued a Toy Fox Terrier in 2010? and Lily rescued a Labrador Retriever a few years ago? <sighs> you know what? You're right. Why did I let my frustrations get to me? Let's just head home. Not unless you're coming home with me, May. Hey! What are you doing with me, May? To take you someplace where I can sabotage your own reputation. Oh no, someone help me! Oh no, May is getting kidnapped. We gotta save her. Well, what are you waiting for? Just go, 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 go!
looks like I stopped you in the nick of time. <sighs> of freaking course. Nice job trying to kidnap, but you're busted. <sighs> How could I have known that you goons would come to her aid? You release her. What has she ever done to you? And why do you May minions want to know? We are not her minions. Now give us answers or else you will be stuck here. Does it look like I care? All I was doing was taking her someplace then by taking her. You mean taking her against her will, aka kidnapping? Now release May right now. Or else what? Oh, she'll feel sorry, you disgrace to BNSF. It's no wonder why Cruz was scared of you. You were physically and literally the devil's unit to the point where you had to get renumbered. Now hurry up. We can't be stalling on the main line all night. I wasn't asking for a history lesson, Professor Lima Green. Just let me go. Let you go for what? I heard of you having a fallout with Lily, so I thought this was a perfect moment for me to save you. And how did you know? Others have been talking about it. In fact, I could have helped her get revenge on you. And how would you even do that? I'm more than determined to make up with her. Oh, really? I thought a careless engine like you can't make up your mind. Look, May, if you let me go, I will owe you back next time. But please, I need to get back to my home territory. Exactly. Let her go, or else the Ord Master will know about this. <sighs> okay, fine. You circus of clowns win. But next time, things won't be so pretty. You hear me? Well, thank you for saving me. You all mean a lot. She may seem familiar as a Santa Fe war bonnet, but what was her problem this time? She may have been a longtime enemy of mine, but of course she still isn't over me. Really? Even after a rebuild? It's a long story, but to put it simply, she did have histories of trying to make me look bad, and even try to tear friendships with some of my closest friends. So is this also why things seem to be weird last year? Yes. I can't believe that was the same engine who tricked me into trash-talking steam engines. Wait, really? I thought it would have been Seth. It may have been Seth, but it was more than just him. Since when did a fake maid even come to CSX? I haven't seen her anywhere in the Jacksonville division. It was while I was getting maintenance at Wake Cross last year. A Santa Fe war bonnet with May's number appeared next to me. It was apparent that she had connections with Seth. But because the workman messed up my wiring, I became oblivious to things. So she, along with Seth, took advantage of their plans. Though the fake May shortly got sent back to Fort Worth for her rebuilding. You weren't there though. Oh man, I must have dodged a bullet there. But unfortunately, it was too late for May and I to realize who Seth truly was. But hearing of the fake May's connections with Seth, just wow. All she wants to do is tear our friendships apart gaslighting a lot of us just to get others into fallouts. And I didn't know about Seth. If I was assigned in the South, I could have warned you guys about him. Wait, who is Seth? He is a CSX SD40-2 number 8116, who has spied on other engines at Waycross last year while going under fake aliases. But he has done a lot to ruin friendships and even plotted to drive CSX out of business. Wow, that reminds me of this one BN SD40-2 I had to deal with back in my BN days who often spied on other engines here at Whitefish, though he was sold to First Union Rail thankfully, so it looks like I'm not the only one who had to deal with these problems. Well dang, did he have any connections with Fake May? And what number was he? I'm afraid he did, but I'd rather explain it the other time. Yeah, I'd rather not talk about this anymore. If I thought that Lily was the worst enemy just for me to escape here, then I came to the wrong place at the wrong time. I'd rather just head home and make up with Lily. There's a manifest bound to leave here in an hour. I'll set it up for you. 